Hello. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how easily and effectively Wiretech can remediate the exploits associated with the recently published Apache Struts vulnerability, CVE number 2017-5638. This video will demonstrate the successful exploit of the Apache Struts 2 library and the successful protection of the application using a Wiretech virtual patch. The first exploit will perform a harmless code injection that can be used to safely identify if an application is vulnerable or not. The second exploit performs remote command execution, which is a more harmful attack and is the type of exploit that is used in the wild by attackers. The third exploit is a variation of the previous one. It will perform remote command execution through a different attack vector. The first section of this video will show these exploits on a vulnerable application. Then via Wiretech's management console, we will live deploy a virtual patch to protect the application. Upon running the two these exploits again, the results will show that Wiretech has successfully blocked them. A key aspect to note in this demonstration is the value of Wiretech in providing virtual patching for scenarios where a physical patch cannot easily be deployed. In addition to the proactive protection that Wiretech's pre-existing rules provide against code injection and command execution attacks, our virtual patching offers source code equivalent protection without source code or binary changes and without the need to restart the service. So, we have a vulnerable version of Apache Struts installed version 2.3.31 and we have it running on a Tomcat server. It's freely available online from the Apache Foundation. We chose to download a pre-built war file from maven.org. Our first exploit will perform a code injection attack that will illegally inject a HTTP response header. As can be seen, the Wiretech header was successfully injected into the response. The presence of this injected response header proves that the web application is vulnerable to CVE 2017-5638. Moving on to our second exploit, we will see a more harmful example as it will perform remote command execution displaying the contents of the ETC password file, as you can see. This, this is a type of exploit that is widely used in the wild by attackers. Finally, our third exploit will use another attack vector. This exploit is a variation on the original vulnerability that will abuse the content disposition header, again displaying the ETC password file. And as you can see, that was also successful. We are now in the Wiretech Management Console where we will live deploy a virtual patch to protect our application against the Apache Struts vulnerability. Wiretech had zero day protection already in place that provided remediation for this attack, but we also produced a targeted rule through our security rules engine that is equivalent to the binary fix. This rule provides complete zero day protection against all variants of this exploit, both known and unknown. This virtual patch will fully remediate the vulnerable struts application against all payloads and all possible entry points. Once I activate the rule, protection is immediately in place for these exploits, without the need to redeploy the app or disrupt the service. The rules here are guaranteed not to produce a false positive. So, having applied the rules, we will check our struts application again. and we will see that it is running without issue. So we will try our header injection attack again, and the results will show that the exploit has been blocked, and as you can see, the injected header is no longer present in the HTTP response. So our second exploit aims to display the contents of our vulnerable server's ETC password file. And as it can be seen from the HTTP response, the contents of the ETC password file are not included, the payload is not executed, 
and the exploit was successfully blocked by Wartech. Moving on to our third and final payload, it can be seen again from the HTTP response that the contents of the etc password file are not included. Again, the payload is not executed, and again, the exploit was successfully blocked by Wartech. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Should you wish to learn more about Wartech, please do not hesitate to contact us. If you wish to evaluate our solution, or if you are interested in a more technical explanation. Thank you.